Okay, right, hello and welcome back to another video. So I am very pleased to announce that I have just finished recording the video content for my introduction to Niagara course that has been available in preview for a few weeks. Um, there are about 12 hours of video content um, broken down into uh, short 5 to 10 to 15, 20 minute videos. Um, about a hundred videos in total uh, and just as a quick reminder we go over a quick introduction so if you've never touched Niagara before in your life uh, we'll go over the UI and what it does and how it works all the real basics uh, we then jump into a deep 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 dive um, of all the modules so there are about 54 videos breaking down all the different modules that are available in Niagara um, by type by component we talk about spawning, we talk about locations, we talk about forces and vectors and velocities. Um, we talk about the renderers, so sprite renderer, mesh renderer, ribbon renderer, beam renderer, light renderer, deco renderer, all of those things, some in more detail than others. Um, but we cover absolutely everything that Niagara can do, uh, at least at the basic level. This is really only scratching the surface of the things that Niagara can do, um, but it covers an awful lot, um, huge amount of in-depth breakdowns there. Uh, we talk about some advanced concepts, so loads of videos talking about collisions, CPU collisions, GPU collisions, depth buffer versus um, not seen depth, the other one, uh, the distance fields, um, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, we talk about events. So we want to go through the event system. So spawn event, uh, location events, collision events, and death events. Uh, and then we do some slightly more advanced stuff, building up how we can take the events system um, and replicate all of that to the GPU. So events are CPU limited, uh, which is fine if that's sort of uh, okay for your game or for your system, um, but it can cause some performance issues. Events are a little bit expensive. And so can we replicate that on the GPU? Turns out we can, uh, and we get into some scratch modules and some dynamic inputs and really kind of like dive a bit more into the sort of more advanced stuff of what Niagara can do. Um, copying data across and, and building our own modules as well. So um, some, some really interesting things in there. Uh, and then finally, we have five worked examples. So uh, let me just open them up. Um, I go through the uh, snow effect. So building up um, and some dynamic elements to that, uh, talking about whether it's attached to the player or placed in the world, that kind of thing. Um, nice, simple particles, uh, but controlled on mass. Uh, we talk about mesh leaves. So same idea, but using meshes rather than sprites. Uh, we make a muzzle flash. So breaking down all the different component parts to this, um, whether they're flip books or sprite sheets or lights or whatever it is. Um, we talk a little bit about the campfire. And so having overarching parameters that control everything. Um, and then finally, the uh, last piece is this mesh dissolve. So um, taking data from one place, using it to drive data elsewhere. So in this case, taking vertex colors and opacity textures, sampling on a mesh, sampling textures, using that data to then drive kill modules. Um, but by the time we've got here, we've done it all already um, and we can make this kind of thing. Um, big thank you to everyone who's already bought the course. Um, I think it's really good. I've put a lot of time into it. As I say, it's about 12 hours of lessons. Um, we break down absolutely everything. Um, talk about first principles and techniques and all of that kind of stuff. Um, do check it out. If you've got any feedback, let me know. This is going to be part one of a series. So there's going to be an advanced course coming too um, in the next few months once that's done. And then I'm going to do a grid 2D course as well. Uh, and then maybe we'll see where it goes after that. So um, do check it out. It's available on Gumroad. It's going to be coming to Udemy. Uh, I've tried to keep it as cheap as possible and uh, region prices as well. So um, if you are from um, various, well, anywhere in the world, there should be hopefully a price that's affordable for you. Um, yeah. Thank you very much to the people who've already supported it. Thank you to the people who support the Patreon uh, for this channel in general. As always, if you have any questions or comments, um, please reach out. I'm available on Discord or email. I do like helping people. Um, and so I'm um, more than happy to answer emails and, and try and help you through your kind of real-time effects tech RE type uh, problems. Um, and who knows, maybe it'll turn into a video for the YouTube channel at some point in the future. But um, as always, again, yes, thanks to everyone who does support this. Uh, do check it out. I think there's some really, really good stuff here. And um, I will see you all for the next course. Um, when that's done.